Welcome back. Let's get you some breaking news coming in from the Congress camp. And after disparaging comments against President Draupadi Murmu, Congress leader Udit Raj stays completely defiant. He says Murmu's candidature and campaign were in the name of the Adivasi community, but it does not mean that she is no longer an Adivasi. He says, my heart cries that when uh, SCSTs reach to a higher position, they ditch their communities and completely become silent. This is the defence coming to the fore after he fired the Chamchagiri jive this morning at the president, something that the BJP took great offence to and asked if the Congress endorses the comment coming in from its leader. Pallavi, now my colleague, joins us for more on this. And uh, Pallavi, even as the BJP is upping the ante against the Congress and Udit Raj, he completely stays defiant and puts out a defence of the comments he made. Yes, but you know, it's interesting when he says that these are my personal comments and I've got nothing to do with the Congress party. Clearly, the Congress has also uh, shown his disapproval, but that doesn't save the situation. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, uh, really, Pooham. Udit Raj is, uh, in that sense, a habitual offender. He's often made comments which are seen as derogatory and, and he's not been pulled up. He still remained one of the panelists of the Congress party. I mean, he's seen hobnobbing with the senior leaders of the Congress party. The issue is not just a personal comment or the Adivasi tribal comment. Thing is that she is a constitutional authority, and this is where your political differences completely go away. You respect a constitutional authority, and to insinuate that she was being a chamcha of the BJP or the central government is uh, is an insult. Many would say, and a humiliation of the post that she holds. Now, it definitely uh, does put uh, the Congress party in some sort of a spot, isn't it, Pallavi? Even though Udhitarat says that these are my personal comments, because this is not the first time he's made such a comment. We've seen. Uh, Several such comments come to the fore from the leader in the past as well on multiple issues, uh, comments that uh, would be construed as uh, denigrating. Oh, yes, absolutely. And, you know, the, uh, the point is that he may be saying these are my personal comments, but he goes around and brazens it out. And if he really, uh, if the Congress party would disapprove of what he has said, then he perhaps would not be basing it out. He would have either apologized and withdrawn. I think, remember, when that outrage happened over Adhiranjan Chaudhary's comment, the party publicly rebuked him and he had to issue an apology and a clarification. That too on the floor of the House. In the case of Adit Raj, clearly the Congress party is not completely uh, rebuking him publicly and therefore his comments are something uh, which uh, many would argue is being either corroborated or the Congress party is not bothering to take a strong step against. All right, Pallavi, do stay on with me. Let's listen in to uh, what the BJP had to say in response to this tweet that came to the fore from Adit Raj this morning. The Congress party has crossed all limits yet again by insulting and by taunting President Draupadi Murmu when its national spokesperson and senior leader Udit Raj has used words for Draupadi Murmu ji that can't be repeated. This is the mindset which is basically Adivasi Virodhi and Dalit Virodhi that subsists in the Congress party and therefore this kind of language is used time and again against Draupadi Murmu ji, the first woman tribal president of this country. Now, Pallavi, it's not just about uh, President Murmu. Even when President Kovind was in office, Udit Raj had claimed that uh, he was a Dalit leader, but he hadn't done anything for the Dalit community during his tenure as the president. Yeah, and that is why I'm saying he's an habitual offender. And even at that point of time, the Congress party uh, did not even rebuke him publicly. And in fact, uh, uh, he continues to remain a part of the meetings of the Congress party, the strategy meetings of the Congress party. Uh, Dr. Murmu was someone uh, uh, who was supported by... Remember, only on the grounds, also on the grounds from the community she belongs to, or the fact that she was a woman. I was talking about a different kind of a woman and social empowerment. Uh, Udhisar's comments are also derogatory because it comes in, uh, against one of the highest offices, of, in fact, the highest office of our country. And that's where political differences are expected to go away. No matter what political difference you have with the BJP, but once she occupies Rashtrapati Bhavan, she does not belong to any one political party. Right, Pallavi, do stay on with me. BJP's national spokesperson Shahzad Punawala is with me on this broadcast. And uh, Shahzad, how do you respond to the clarification that has now come to the fore from Udit Raj? He says, it's my personal view. And uh, I was just talking about how, uh, as the president, you must do more for your community. 
you know this only shows that the congress party endorses the statement of udit raj because time and again they take no action on these serial offenders ajay kumar called uh, dopadi murmu ji evil mindset he is a national spokesperson but it's his personal statement adhir ranjan choudhary is a rashtrapati he is the lop but it's his personal statement udit raj is a national spokesperson he makes the statement it becomes his personal opinion but the congress's personal opinion is that adivasi samaj should never get their rights their personal opinion has always been to deny them the rights and that's why whether it's bhagwan birsa munda or whether it's dopadi murmu ji whether it's baba saheb ambedkar or other dalits they have always been adivasi and dalit virodhi now the congress party must tell us if they don't endorse this personal view of udit raj then they must take action on him what stops them from taking action on him this shows that they endorse a statement and now only for cosmetic reasons he may say this is my personal view etc but if the congress doesn't stack him the congress doesn't act on him then what does it mean it means sonia gandhi rahul gandhi endorse this statement why don't they come and take a position she is the supreme command of the armed forces the highest constitutional post holder and by the way she has struggled in her life through socio economic challenges and reached on the top of the constitutional position by her hard work does the congress not respect the constitutional position she holds Right, we do hope that the Congress uh, comes out with the answers to your questions. For the moment, Shahzadoo, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18.